why Good. did we do a recurring joke about not doing the Tacoma Narrows bridge disaster? Um, I, I really don't like the way that I sound on the audience, Mike. I sound like I'm delivering a ransom demand. You do. <laughs> why did we taunt you with this for over a year? And why did you... Well, actually, I can't answer this. Why did you just, like, like it? <laughs> <laughs> no f***ing talk back to me. The reason why, the reason why we did this is because it's the textbook engineering disaster. Like, literally, it will be in a textbook, and the way in which it's taught will be both reductive and wrong. On purpose, as a joke, as a prank, right? Oh, uh, there's too much wind and the bridge fall down. It's like, it's useful because it's a pure engineering disaster, right? Uh, no such thing. All engineering is political. All engineering requires a holistic and a materialist view of why the thing was built in the first place. <laughs> why? Okay, Br bridge, bridge fall down, right? Great, fine. Why did they br build the bridge there? Why did they build it like that? And why is it like that so often cheaply? Why is it left to a bunch of toll booth guys to do it? Why do they why do they allow man's hubris to experiment yes. with the theory on why, the third largest bridge ever constructed? Yeah. Why, why, why did the federal government not hunt Mothman to extinction before building this great question? <laughs> There are so many questions, and uh, trying to arrive at like a better understanding of both a disaster and the society that produced it is the only way to uh, save tomorrow's tubby. You're welcome. Yes. Also, we do enjoy annoying you, the listener. Yes. <laughs> Shake hands for danger. <laughs> you, you take many cars going to many different destinations. You put them all together in one train that goes sort of near all those destinations, then you take it apart again, right? And then you, you send them all to other destinations. Hmm.